Gags, how do you like your squats? Well done? I'm still catching, I'm still catching, yeah. <laughs> still milling, still milling usually. <laughs> What's going on BTC? By the time you see this video, I hope you're conscious, surgeries are behind you, you're well rested, you're recovering. Um, we're here we are at Gagging on Strength with the team, all right? And we're just here to wish you well. Uh, we know we, you have a long road to recovery ahead um, and you brought smiles to many of us. You know, the funniest, most charismatic guy we know. You are the king of hype and the trap god. Uh, there's a joke going around saying that it could have been worse because your traps are so big. So big. <laughs> that actually um, helped you in the, in the accident. So, um, we, again, we're just here to wish you well, and uh, we can't wait to have you back. Sending you lots of love, BTC. Um, you provide a lot of you know, power through over the years. We're gonna, keep, we're gonna keep sending you support. So you got the support from everyone. So guys, let's give a big power on three. One, two, three. Power! Get well soon, BTC. Sending good vibes your way, and we're gonna see you soon. We love you. Love you, BTC. What's going on guys? Here we are back at Gaglion Strength, the best powerlifting gym in Long Island Farmdale, New York. We are with the team and with John Gaglion himself. Uh, I'm going to be doing some squats. Uh, I don't know exactly what because still doing it day by day, slowly feeding me the program. I heard something about speed squats, starting off with sleeves and then going into reps. You did hear correctly. So uh, okay. we're starting off with some chains. Love the chains. Uh, they also look cool. They make, a lot they, of, they make a lot of noise. Because we can't have music, so we need <laughs> noise from something. So it's going to give us some, uh, <laughs> some, some extra sounds. Uh, but yeah, the chains are a really great tool, uh, especially as a wrapped lifter, uh, because the strength curve is a little bit different. So oftentimes, lifters in sleeves uh, may oftentimes will struggle on the bottom when they're the most vulnerable. Uh, they don't kind of have that pop. The, the wrap's going to give some support and some rebound out of the bottom. So I think chains are a great tool regardless because it's going to teach you to accelerate. But especially in terms of a wrapped lifter or an equipped lifter like myself, uh, it's going to force you to continue to push through the range of motion. So a lot of times lifters will just kind of rely on the wrap too much, and then when the weight gets heavy, they don't they kind of forget to push the last three quarters of the range of motion, uh, and then they kind of fail like at the top. They'll kind of spring out of the bottom, or they're not, not even tight. So the chains will kind of force the lifter since it's lighter in the bottom and heavier at the top. It's going to force the lifter to push through the entire range of motion. We're going to start off with some lighter sets, just kind of work on the timing, work on the explosion. And then we're going to go a little bit heavier, add the knee wraps, and again, get that overload on the back. So chains are a great way to, to teach you this. Uh, and if you are someone that's looking to transition into wraps, definitely something you should look into adding into your arsenal and uh, into your program. So, ready to get started? Oh yeah, all right. All right let's, let's do it. it. Boom. Get to work. To the floor, we use the ankle rocks, get the mo ankle mobility going. Big toe, little toe, and heel on the ground. You can drive your elbow down if you want to stretch your groin a little bit and switch. So start nice and tall, and then once you're ready, ankle rocks. So we do a couple of exercises with the bands. We do three to five. Conventional. No. You can go. So we do a couple of pull aparts. Let's get the chest going. Band over and back, just stretching the pecs a little bit. And warm up the hips, we're we'll gonna do some abduction, straight leg. I also call this one the dancing penguin. Do the cha-cha. Drive up. Pull apart. Squat. Hold. Drive up. So we'll do five with the pause. If you want to throw a little over and back, your chest is that's fine. Just whatever you need to do to warm up. Your chest is a little bit tight. Mine's a little tight. 
What's up guys? First half of work, as John said, is in sleeve. So of course we're using my PR Team Press Record knee sleeve. Gray, blue, and black. We got purples coming very soon. We're using the Duffalo Ball because using the Texas squat bar, when you get heavy and you're doing back-to-back -back weeks of singles, triples, and fives, you'll tend to get some inflammation in the brachialis, just like you would an arm wrestling. Hence why I'm arm wrestling during this prep, because I don't want two factors for tendonitis here. I don't want an arm wrestle, which is gonna inflame it for me, and I don't wanna be doing heavy uh, low bar squats, which is also going to inflame. So I gotta pick one poison, all right? Um, four weeks out, we'll be using the same bar we use in competition. So we'll be training for competition standard. Uh, but this bar isn't any easier. It's just easier on the bicep. It's not any easier or harder. Same.
knows how it's done. Let's see it, Jack, with you all Come on, let's see it. to get a fat man winch like this. So go to the website now, prlifestyle.com. You heard it from the man himself, Purple Series coming in August. And then the worst part about that belt, when you hit a PR, you can't throw it 100 miles behind you. You have to fight with it to get it on. Still milling, still milling usually. See, <laughs> so if BTC was here, you would have had <laughs> Going on wraps for the next one. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm in the dark here. It's okay. We're off. I'm like, I'm like training blind these days. <laughs> I have it up here. It's okay. Judging, prize money on the line, a lot of green lifters, so you gotta be ready for tight standards. If not, it's okay. So, training for the worst, and we'll, we'll be ready for anything. Worst case scenario, we'll be ready. Good job. Thank you. 
I'll stick with my two light white depths for now. I'm good with that. <laughs> Look at it, don't forget it. <laughs> don't forget about it. Let me record this. <laughs> Look at this. Loading the weight. This should buy me another month. <laughs> and he's done till August. <laughs> Come on, Tom. That's the easy tune. Nice. Yeah. Watch. 
All right, good. Let's get for two tacos. All right. How do you feel? I feel great. I'm feeling real comfortable in the wraps. Whatever. Getting the technique down, getting comfortable with you know, tying it, untying it. Uh, standing up, getting better with the mono lift. How's the weight feeling on the back? Uh, weight feels light on my back. Doesn't feel the good. I probably did two weeks ago, for example. Feels good. Um, and my back staying more upright, pushing more into the wrap. Timing feels better. Yeah, I'm very pleased with my progress to hold the wrap. It's been like first week uh, training with coach. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Like it's I said before, right? it's I get the best training training with coach. Right. Awesome. Well, I appreciate that. It's been fun. Uh, yeah, it's been good. And I think too, like me going through the program with you, it just helped me kind of like understand also what you're going through too. Like I'm kind of going through, you know, leading by example, and then I kind of know okay, maybe this is too much. Maybe this was a little bit crazy because sometimes I can get, you know, and sometimes it's one thing that looks great on paper, but you don't always know until you actually try. That's why we're going audible. It's always be okay to like, be open, be flexible, and change things. But this was good. We had a, like a lot of, even though it's, we're starting, um, the, the actual meat and potatoes of the program, we've done a lot of great work so far. Uh, I'm really excited, but this was really good. Hit. Every week's been a little bit better and more comfortable. Very strong set. Oh, yeah. We have a bright future for okay. September 11th. Um, and we have about, what is that, six more weeks of training left? Yeah. So we got a lot of time. We have a lot of time. On that note, guys, look, please check out Gagley on Strength. If you want some coaching from Long Island, also check out the gym itself in Farmingdale. Please check out QLSTALK.com for the merch, and we will see you guys on the next one. The training ain't gonna stop. It's gonna get better from here. And love you guys. Love you, BTC. And we'll see you soon.